Hey, Wagwan people, Crypto Yard representing we in the house. So let's jump into this one. And this is going to be a recording of a recording. Well, the first few minutes anyway, because what had happened is that I'd just come home and the duck hunters, the Dow duck hunters, let me say that correctly. The Dow duck, duck hunters season one auction was going on on the open sea site. And I only got the last few minutes but in rushing to set up my microphone i did not record my vocals well yeah my audio didn't get recorded so i'm gonna have to play you the video of what was happening but before i do so i should tell you that you can come on this side here um the link is always um is always in the description or the comment section pinned in the comment section guys so because you can go here and buy loot boxes to play this nft game uh, you can see you can get free cards here for for one box for 0.6 of a eve and these cards can re can range from tier one to tier three and as you can see if you was to get nine cards you can you can buy three boxes to get nine cards for this price here and 15 cards if you buy five boxes for free eve um i've been encouraging you guys to go ahead and participate in this competition because currently they they even gave away what a box mining and a Ivan and Tech card, which is like the rarest of all the cards in this game. And it was one of these cards, well, not one of these cards, but one of the rare cards that was up for grabs in this auction. And you could see, hey, you could have won that for free for how much this was able to sell for. Um, and there's also cards with lesser value that um, tens of people, I, I, I should say dozens of people have won just by tweeting or retweeting what the dot dot are their partners ask you to do on twitter or you could enter the amas i myself won two of these um nft cards just by for asking questions in the amas so as i said the link is always in the description for you guys to just go and try it out for free if you don't want to buy just yet or if you can't even afford to buy i've seen people that didn't buy any just went and did one of the little challenges and they was able to sell it for obviously a profit since they got it for free so yeah man go and try and get some of these cards as you can see they're only selling 300 there's only what 35 left but let me show you what was happening in this auction for one of the rarest cards since there's only eight of these cards which now means that you're gonna need to win one of these cards uh for it to for you to win this game since we can see that people already bought it uh, so what happened as you can see here so let me play this <laughs> as i said it's a recording of a recording so when i got home i realized that hey it started to have a free eve someone had bid 4.65 of a eve and then trader sd which is very prominent in the duck hunters chat on telegram he had gone up to five he had bid for 5.25 eve but that wasn't where the drama ended because as it was going on the site crashed and, and i should tell you a lot of us uh, in the chat we was watching and it was just an exciting thing to see as these things can sometimes be and yeah there was the, the site crashed and this is like the second time that the dot dot team uh they, they, they they've just run this site to a wreck the open sea site to a wreck but what happened was that there's a bit of drama at the end because even though Hey, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Trader SD. As I said, he's a prominent, he's one of the prominent ones in this game currently playing. He's got a few of the very rare cards, or I should say tier one cards. So he's in for a chance to win. And because he's such a regular, I've been wishing him luck in the chat. But someone else had actually outbidded him. But because the site went and crashed, hey man, sometimes it's just the luck, or the draw of the luck, or the luck of the draw, as they like to say. And. Let me just go, let me get this off now since this was what was going on at the time. Let me see if I can get this off and I'll show you what was happening in the telegram. So you can see, uh, so this was what was happening. Bidding war between two people now. So this is what Lance P was saying. Bigger per save Lance P, another regular in the chats. Uh, you can see so he's saying i would like to watch them bid all night if it's not for my work tomorrow lol so it must be late that wherever he's in, he's in in the world um so you can see here it looks like open sea gave website is done two minutes to go uh brother sd was in the lead and 
so this is SD, as I said, big up yourself. Uh, you can see this guy here, he came and he's complaining, rightfully so, because, because the site crashed on him and he would have got this. He was willing to bid for six ETH. Uh, but as I said, it's the luck after draw. There you see, I'm recording something. Shush, please. Um, what? So you can see, so here's Arza. He's come, Ars Jat, and he's come and he's complaining, which he's, he has all right to do, as I said. Because he said sight going off and bet rejected. Uh, SD did tell him that hey, that's what you should try to bid in the last few seconds. But as Jack went and said, hey man, I bid when there was two minutes left and the site still crashed. And I still didn't get to get my uh, bid in. So, and then someone else came up as well and said they was in. So there is Rose here said, it said that six seat was the highest bid, but he said that he bid. Where is, is it? A he or she? No. Side crush. Side crushed. My bet didn't work. Every five or three side. So even though this sell for 5.25 ETH, there was another two people, well, that we know of, that came into, into the chat to say, hey, what's happening here? It's not fair. As you can see, Rose is saying, I'm not fair. I'm trying to say it's not fair because obviously he would have put in his bid as well or her. Sorry. Um, and you can see my man asking, but this was, hey man, it was a uh, exciting to watch. I know it might not appear this way here, but while it was going on, a lot of us was finding it fun. And as I said, it only sold, I'm saying only because there was, well, I'm um, two other people that we know of that was willing to pay past upwards of six ETH. So imagine, as I said, if you was to be able to win this by just retweeting a text from Ivan and Tech or Box Mining or maybe MM Crypto, I should think, coming up next time when it comes to winning these tier one cards. This is this is a big deal. Uh where is it? So it was here. So but as you can see here, Jeff sold for 5.25 ETH because SD or uh, trader SD as he known on OpenSea was the lucky one. You can see that my man here, which would have probably been ours, Jack already offered the uh, the six eve and it just didn't go through so unlucky man but you can see what was going on it started at three went to 3.154 it was just excitement going on in the chat and it would have lasted a bit longer because as you buy it adds i think like 15 minutes to the clock again so it would have been going on longer if the site hasn't crashed so that was too over or i should say to the, the detriment since i didn't get to sell it for what people was willing to pay to pay for it but obviously hey it was a good good draw for for trader sd uh, next thing i should quickly tell you guys about and this is something that i've talked about before as well is the base protocol pre-sale which is going on and this is also a duck doll incubated project so you guys need to go and check out this video here if you didn't want to listen to me because hey i'm only a little lowly youtuber you should go and listen to my bridging here my fellow west indian mate crypto lifestyle he will also be having a much more in-depth interview with the base protocol team i think on the 27th as you can see here but you can get into the pre-sale for this one if you was to just click if you just check the pin message uh in his in this comment section you can go and get into the pre-sale at i think at 33 cents and this is already in a profit since the market cap if you guys know about ample fourth you'll know about this one go and delve into this one this one is like the ample fourth and steroids i would say because because of the fact that it is tracking the entire crypto market cap that's what it's trying to peg itself two and you guys would have seen what ample has done by trying to peg itself to just the us dollar this one is gonna we're calling it the s p 500 of the crypto uh, markets because it's selling like what one to one trillion so currently the market cap was 580 billion i think so this if this was to peg itself to the market cap and at first it won't so this is your chance to be making profits because at first you know people are going to be trying to get in on it or it's going to be going up and down so there's be a lot of arbitraging opportunities i mean my man crypto wealth you can go and watch his videos well he he went in depth about it as well and i said lifestyle will be doing so later on on the 27th but you can click the link in his thing to get into this one i i talked about this one weeks ago and i'm glad to see it's finally getting traction both on youtube and in the telegram and, and twitter 
so yeah i encourage you again i don't want to go into it just now because as i said crypto lifestyle will be going more into it and crypto wealth also did that but just go and check it out this is a quick video which will give you a summary of it and give you more of an understanding and why you guys should be getting into this one and if you know what Ampleforth did this will be doing the same thing and they've already they, they they're not they've started off by realizing some of the mistakes that Ampleforth made earlier on and they're correcting these mistakes which which is why this is going to hold this value very quickly all right people crypto yardy representing and we are out here zimmy boom